Good day and welcome back to Coach Greg. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different to what we have done in the past. We are going to be doing a video on Virat Kohli's cover drive, how he executes it, what he does well and why it is such a big weapon in his arsenal. In this video we will be going through various topics. The first couple of topics we are going to look at is the line and the length. So what Virat does, and he's spoken about this in an interview in the past, is he determines how he moves his body according to the length. So if it's a little bit shorter than a half volley, he goes forward towards the ball with his front foot and then lets his weight transfer into it. But if it is slightly fuller, all he does is he keeps his front foot still and he drops his back leg a bit to make sure that the bat can come through and still hit near the middle, not near the toe of his bat. Because he obviously wants to try and get more off the middle to get the ball to go through the covers and not to the fielder. We'll now be looking at his hand position into the swing and the follow through of the bat. In the starting position in his stance, Kohli's hands are very backward, set more onto the back hip side of it. As he steps through the ball, his hands go up with the wrists cocking, bat face pointing towards point, then the bat swings from a slightly outward in sort of angle to make sure that he gets a full swing through the ball. Thereafter, he lets the hands go through the ball and competes at the top. What we have noticed with Kohli is that he does not break his wrists very often through the cover drive. If he can maintain the bat in one line, he do does that for as long as possible. The reason he hits the drive as cleanly as he does is because he's got a fluid swing through the ball with a big back swing which helps him with the power. When looking at Kohli play the cover drive, it is also important to notice that he stays side on throughout the whole shot. That means that the feet, the hips and the shoulders are all pointing in the line that we are trying to hit the ball. So if we had to take a stride forward, we'd see that he gets onto the instep of his big toe, which is over here if we look closely. The front foot will be towards where the ball is and the head is just slightly over the front foot. From here, this allows us to keep our shape through the ball. If we had to swing now without breaking wrists, we'll see that the lines all stay in the same direction. That is four. That is for certain. Beautiful drive. That's as good as it gets. Also important to note is that when we are playing the shot, we want to have a stable base. What this means is, as we're playing the shot, our back foot is stationary and our front foot is stationary, allowing us to have the most power to work from. Think about it as though you're trying to push something. You have both feet firmly on the ground to help generate power from your legs into your upper body. It is the same when playing the cover drive. From here, what we want to notice is the head position. The head position, especially for Kohli, is over the front foot. What he tries to focus on is he tries to make sure that his head doesn't go beyond that point because it can cause overbalancing and he might fall over in the shot. And he also doesn't want his head to be too far back because then he's not generating enough momentum or weight transfer into the ball itself. From here, we'll also have a look at the contact point, which what he tries to accomplish is to try and hit as close to his leg as possible. Except when he's in on the up, he tries to play it slightly later to make sure that he hits it down. The last aspect we'll be looking at is making sure that there is good shoulder rotation and a good swing through the ball. So what do you mean by shoulder rotation? What we first need is a good shoulder dip. If I actually draw a line from here, you can see that the shoulders are pointing towards where the contact point should be. From there, if we actually start swinging, we see the shoulders start rotating through to allow the swing and then all the way through to the top. This allows us to make sure that we've got a big swing and a straight swing through the ball, enabling us to get more power through the ball and making sure that our lines remain good throughout. Yeah. Kohli does all of these aspects well. This enables him to generate the power that he does and to make sure that his consistency remains there so that he knows that the contact's going to be good whenever he backs himself to play the shot. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a comment down below. Also, please remember to like the video and give us any ideas that you might have for videos going forward. Also, please remember to subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends to do the same.